What's good, good people? Out there on YouTube, there's your boy Trail checking in with another video over here at Creed Lifestyle, man. Um, what can I say, man? I didn't think I was gonna get this shoe. I didn't think it was gonna be in my reach at all, but shout out to corporate got them. Um, it wasn't like they gave me the shoe, but they gave me the opportunity to receive the shoe. So the shoe released on the same day. They did a release up in Cincinnati. I wasn't gonna drive to go do that. I mean, I felt like if it's in that city, certain shoes I'm not gonna do. I, I mean, I don't even really know. Like what I've, I had to work. So it was kind of like, eh, it really wasn't that serious. But on the other hand, it was. And I felt like I had a better opportunity online somewhere. I knew that this shoe was not going to be on the sneakers app. So it was kind of like, uh, it is what it is. I mean, it's a lot of shoes that I've missed and then it's a lot of shoes that I do have. So we don't leave it like that. But like I said, shout out to Corporate God. I'm there. I did a camp out, what was it? Four, four and a half hours, five hours. It was like a misty rain, super cold. Listen, it was a dope camp out. I picked up this shoe and the uh, Concept Nike Air Max 1. <clears throat> See, listen, I was just told that my voice has been cracking in the last videos. I don't know what it is. I think I'm going through puberty or something. I, I, I really don't know. I'm not sick. I don't know what it is. But I believe it's like allergies, sinus. But we're going to get into this shoe. Yeah. You see the X, so you know what it is, man. You see the X, so you know what it is. It's the Rebillionaire 1. Yeah, Rebillionaire. It's the Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG. Not the 85 cut, but just the High OG. Uh, black, white, particle gray. My size. This box is like a collector's item. Um... Man, it's fire. This script on here, nasty. The X, crazy. So the script says they can't stop you from wearing. Um, we get into the box a little bit more. The paper inside the shoe. I did notice that this paper is from the commercial of the band ones which is the chicago colorway a lot of people might not know that so it's the actual commercial put on paper which is crazy like i thought that was super dope uh, let's get into it boom you see the band ones on his feet you see the paper the red box over them xing them out and they kind of show it and kind of like fizzled out. So I feel like that was super dope. Uh, I waited to do the review on this shoe because, I mean, I felt like it was a lot of them up. And, hey, I've been had the shoe sitting here. It's just I just didn't want to do the shoe. I wasn't in a rush. I wanted to enjoy the shoe, look at the shoe. It's just me, man. I wanted to enjoy the shoe, but I also wanted to bring it to you guys, but I wanted to bring it to you with uh, timely fashion and do it right, not just rush it out just because I had the shoe. I feel like that's what a lot of people do. They rush stuff out. So let's get into it. Boom. Yeah, the Rebellion there. Man, you hear it on every Jordan 1 video from anybody. We love that smell of those shoes. I mean, I feel like Nike needs to brand that smell. But that smell is crazy. Comes with the extra white lace. Black lace inside the shoe. This material is nice. So, it looks like concrete with a screen print on there. Let's put that inside there like that. It looks like concrete with a screen print on there. Right here. And even feels like concrete. So like the, it's, I thought it was patent leather when I first seen it, but it's not. It's regular leather, but like with a 
crack feeling on there, like it's cracking. Uh, like I said, the letter on here is like a screen print kind of. It's all over on the gray part, on the black part. I feel like this shoe, man, it like looking at it in hand. I really never look, I haven't looked at it. I looked at it, but I haven't looked at it. Like I keep, and you can't stop from wearing. Man, this is fire. And then this, it's not like the X is just on there, but it like, it's like it's brushed on there where it's like inside there. You can see the gray picking through the red, like it's an actual brush stroke. Like that is crazy. I feel like that is super dope, man. This shoe was 170, which Jordan brand eventually is gonna raise the price on ones. I don't know when, but I, I, it's probably gonna come, but oh well. A lot of people say, oh, that's nothing but a shadow. But hey, if you don't own the shadows, I feel like this is a consolation prize. Even if you own the shadows, this is a totally different shoe. Like this has different meaning. From what I was doing, some reading, and what I was told, that this shoe was actually brought out to the mom and pop stores that actually give back to the communities. So that's what this shoe was really made for. So it's kind of like a, what can I say, like a community thing. It's not an actual, oh, it's a Nike release. Let's put it on the sneakers app. It was not on the sneakers app. I repeat, it was not on the sneakers app. The resale isn't high, so which hurt a lot of people's feelings. Because I remember being in line when I got mine, and there was resellers everywhere. But it's kind of like some shoes just aren't made for resale. Some shoes, I guess you can resell. I mean, I'm not really into the resale type of thing. But, I mean, hey, I feel like, hey, you get, you rock what you want, man. And that's just me. That's just my opinion. But this shoe is super fire. It's Man, let's look at the other shoe to make sure that it's not nothing different. Which, no, they're the same. Script's different, not different or anything like that. Pretty much the same placing on everything. The shoe is crazy, man. I feel like that red X on the back, man, it does something to you. Looks like a red thong on the back of that. You know what I'm saying? But that's pretty much it, man. Thank you guys for stopping in, checking out the video of the Rebellion Era, Jordan 1s. Uh, thank you guys for hitting the thumbs up on these videos, for trying to help me get into these algorithms so YouTube can actually help me reach that plateau that I want to reach, man. I'm trying to do a giveaway at a thousand subs. I'm closely there and I'm like off a little bit, but I'm, but I'm there. I feel like we're going to speak into existence. We're there. I'm trying to reach there by mid-year. I've been trying to do more videos. I feel like maybe that's my thing that's slowing me down. I'm not doing enough videos as fast as they want me to. Because my I was told that my video quality and everything was good. But I'm just not pumping them out fast enough at one point. But ah, let's get that out the way. Ugh. Yeah. So this shoe will go in the case and be in there, man, for a minute. Uh, I'm going to wear it. I don't know what. Like I said, I want to do more on foot videos. I feel like those are something that people want to see coming from a big and tall guy. We need to see more on foot videos. I'm going to do an on foot video of the Air Max One Heavies. I got videos I want to do of like the Bordeaux Ones, the Marinas. I mean, I don't know. I got videos I want to do a couple more ones that's over here. <clears throat> The bread toes down there, the or not the bread toes, but the patent breads. Uh, just want to do more videos, man. Try to show it out a little bit. But uh, until then, man, you guys have a good day. Stay blessed. Remember, rock what you want, because I'm going to do the same thing, man. And thank you guys for checking out Air Jordan 1 Rebellion Air video. I'm out. Put that on screen one time.